Ninja Game 3 Razer's Edges Platinum Trophies, one of the hardest Platinum Trophies on PlayStation. And the trophy guide says it's an 8 of 10 with take 7 playthroughs in 85 hours. No, what is this shit, man? Oh my god, fuck you. He's doing this shitty moves again, oh my god. So we start a new game on normal difficulty. In the Hayabusa village, Japan, we see Ryu and two other guys talking about a mission. We have to save the Prime Minister from these unknown people. They don't know the names of them, it's an unknown group. And we get introduced into Ninja Gen 3. So we start in day one, London, UK. And I can jump down here right now to slice this guy up. So let's do it. Nice. Cut him in half. Nice. The Raptor. We get many trophies now of liberation technique. is the first one. And then try to use the ultimate technique. And I got the trophy for that. Nice. Next up, Steel on Bone. This is the new move in the game. And I get the trophy for that. Then I use the Bloody Rage. So I get the next trophy. Next up, using the Nimpo for first time. Nimpo Metal, next trophy. Easy game. Then I found a collectible, a golden scarab. We have to get 50 of them. Next up, we get introduced a new mechanic. Stealth in the game. And we can kill the three enemies. Then the spider, spider bot, I don't know. Spider tank is randomly showing up. We have to defeat him. And we do that by destroying the armor and then destroying the leg at that. And we get them down. We can uh, destroy his leg. It's open now, yes. Nice. Jump on and... Yeah, we got the boss. Nice. This is so normal, so very easy enough. Next up, I found a crystal skull. And we have to do some challenges for this. We have to do all of them, all the challenges in there. There are three waves of enemies and a boss at the end. But I died here and I, I couldn't do this at the moment, so I tried it later in chapter select, in chapter challenge mode. But next up, we got all our life back. And for finding the fifth scarab, I got a health upgrade. And then I got to this door, and right here, there's a guy called Regent. He is the guy who gives us a pretty damn stupid thing. But first up, we have to fight this guy. So let's go. Okay. Uh, he's... Yeah, I can see, I can see. Very annoying guy. I can only hit him when he's attacking. Oh shit, I... Yeah, man. <laughs> I threw him out of the window. Nice, nice. Yeah, okay, I'm completely destroying this guy. He's not that hard. But he's comboing me too, but I got him. Yeah, I sliced him up. What is he talking about, man? The blood. What is this? Oh shit. Some magic. He used the spell. <laughs> this asshole man. Regent. So this is the grip of murder. It's a thing that Ryu got from this guy. So we have to escape from this place because the whole place is going to explode. As you can see here, we have some rockets. So we have to go away. She thinks we are dead, but we are not. So we could escape. And we get a trophy for clearing day one. The grip of murder. Nice, day one cleared. Easy game. So we get to day two, where we get from Mizuki a bow. Like in the other Ninja Game games, we have a bow. But this time we can use explosive arrows later. Yeah, sliding. So day two, deserted city, Rub Al Kali. And we get attacked by some guys riding a horse, I would say, man. Horses, modern horses. So we have to attack them with the bow. 
Otherwise we can't hit them. So they are very annoying that to dodge many times. But I got him. Okay, they clear the path for us. Nice. So we can get another trophy here. But first we see Ayana. He's talking to us and giving us a sword. With this sword we can use the Ituna drop. And I did it. Ituna drop trophy. Nice. So killing these people. After killing these people I got to the highest point of this mission here. Where we meet the Regent again. And we we are we going to destroy this guy but before we can do that we have to destroy this helicopter he called it okay this is a boss fight i would say oh shit yeah man i got damaged okay i got him down for the first time okay i have to jump and then attack okay nice got him I had to do this over and over until I destroyed this helicopter. Very boring boss, I would say, man. I, yeah, this isn't, isn't the best boss. Just the helicopter, but we destroyed it. We see exploding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, we got away. We see Ayabusa. He's going down. He's hurt. And we get Bumpy Ride for clearing day 2. So next up, day 2 Ayana. We see her, she's getting a massage. Randomly a guy is coming into us. Disrupting our massage. And he wants to see more of Ayana. But... He gets killed before that. <laughs> yeah. And then she destroys all the people that are coming for her. Yes, like that. You have to hurry. So day two, Ayana, Paris, friends. We see. We can destroy some enemies now. And at the end, there's a boss fight. Against three alchemists. I can use the UT to destroy them. Very easy boss. Not the best boss. Very easy. And I destroyed them. And we get a trophy. Cooperation. I uh, lost the trophy clip, so I had to do this picture. Yeah, next up we t return to Hayabusa, day 3. We're going to jump out of this helicopter plane. Day 3 are being Abysmo Island. Okay. Yeah, man, let's go in there. Okay. Uh, some enemies again are here. There's a farming spot for killing thousand enemies with a weapon. I did this through three weapons that I have right now. The other ones I have to unlock later, the weapons. So I can get back here in chapter select. And then I went further into this building. And right here the Regan, he's waiting for us. And he has a surprise for us. A little toy for us here. A T-Rex with 20 eyes, laser eyes, so he's very easy, you have to dodge his rushing attack, then you have to attack him and then you have to wait for him to lie on the ground. In the second phase he's diamond, you can only attack the uh, head, and right here I got on the head and he's dead, he can do anything I got him. In the back, he's down, man. So we kill him, and we see Mizuki. She came for us, but not for a good thing. She's pointing a gun on us. In this clear day free, enter Dilivian Slumber. <laughs> okay, day free cleared. And we see Ryu, he's sleeping, or not. He's in a simulation because of this girl right here. She's saying we are in a simulation and we can get hurt and die here. So we have to protect ourselves. And we did. And we see Kana, she's right here. So we have to save her. And we're going to carry her here out of here. Oh, come on. So we meet this girl again and she says 
he took some DNA from Ryu and Regan, he's throwing her into this god thing where the DNA from Ryu was so she turns into this thing we have to fight against her so when this red gas is coming up you can dodge and then press triangle so you can cut off the, the arms that little arms and yeah she was pretty easy or normal or normal later on we have to complete the game on the hunt difficulty so yeah so the whole place is collapsing so we have to escape there are Mizuki and Kana Kana they're in the elevator and we got safely away but the elevator is exploding and then we got out of the building and we get surrounded by some soldiers and this will complete day for the great escape another time no trophy clip and now we are Yokozuka Japan Ryu he's saying to Mizuki and Kana that he wants to go to Hayabusa village and he takes out Genshin's sword that he placed here in Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 and this time we are going to take it with us and we can unlock the dual sword like that can use it now dual katana and day 5 Hayabusa village in Japan ok a very nice thing so next up I upgraded my lunar staff then the dual sword we're getting the trophies for completely upgrading the weapons yeah very nice and this time I have fight here and I try to get a 100 hit combo like that ok I can use the moves and here I got the trophy feet of the 100 flashes for doing a 100 hit combo nice so Ryu he's dreaming about the grip of murder taking control over him and he's screaming but it's a dream and now there's a girl here he's healing Ryu a little bit helping him with this stone so after getting recovered we get on and we get attacked by Sanji he, he has to learn a little bit more the feelers. So after going out with Mimiji, we get into a fight against some enemies and we see this girl from Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2. She's again back here. I don't know her name, but she's from the Black Spider Clan. So we have to defeat her. Very easy game. She's not that hard. We have to destroy these weak points. So I did this like that bam she's like exploding bam cutting everything off her and the last wave right here bam oh shit and then on her head <laughs> we have to slice her away destroy her and I did and the light is going away and we jump down we try to catch the Michi and we did so we're taking her to a other guy he can help her I don't know this guy but he can help Mumiji and we get the next trophy the karma of a shinobi for clearing day 5 and next up we see Mizuki and Kana Kana has to stay in the base with us but later on we get into a plane and we land in a ice beam Howard Phillips and right here I can get the next upgrade for a weapon so I did it and got a trophy and we see Mizuki and she's missing Kana she's gone uh, I don't know where she went away her phone is lying on the ground but next up back to Hayabusa we see himself a clone so we have to destroy this guy so let's go nice man I'm using the scythe very easy but he's always Itsuna dropping me very annoying 
So I switch to the katana to destroy this guy with some UTs. He followed me, but I killed him very easy. Game is normal, not very hard. So we see Cliff, he's in the game. He took Kana as his ass armor. And he's restoring the clone, and now it's a fiend uh, clone. Fiend clone. So we had to destroy this dead guy with the katana. I am slicing him up and he explodes. I don't know why he's exploding like that. But we get waiting for clearing day 6. Nice. So next up Ayana, day 6. Day 6 Ayana. We get a trophy from a Kodachi expert for upgrading the weapon. So we got on a boat and we see three enemies, three bosses. After destroying these three bosses, we get a trophy for completing day 6 Ayana. So let's destroy them, but a triple boss not very easy. So I died a little bit times here. Sometimes I died. Yeah, but I got him. Now the last one, I'm one hit as well, but I got him, nice. I did it, and after destroying the triple boss, we see Irene, she's with the CIA, and Ayana, she got her calling, her mission, everything from Irene. So they are talking about Hayabusa, and Irene is very, yeah, she's... Yeah. <laughs> On your own. Nice, next trophy. So now we see Hayabusa. Day 7, we have to get on a plane. And we did. So now we are jumping out of it, making a bungee jump into a other jet. Very nice. With Mizuki, she's sitting there. Okay, let's get it. Nice. We did it. Thumbs up. We should do it too on the video. But next up, we have to jump on a boat. Several boats. We have to destroy all these boats. So we enter day 7, the Black Norway Pacific Ocean. Oh yeah, again, destroying a freaking weapon. And we see this guy in his chair, a old man, I don't know, he took Kana and he's transforming into a robot and we have to defeat him now. So he was very annoying, he has several attacks that are very annoying and making a lot of damage but I got him and he has a second phase. We have to slide under him, and next up he's a, yeah, what can I say to that, I don't know, I tried to avoid his laser, but I couldn't figure out how, but at the end I did it, and destroyed him, and now he's lying on the ground, and we all know what we have to do, slice him up, kill him, he's very annoying, so, just kill him, very nice. And then we see Kana in a... I don't know what is this even... What should this be? And then the Regent, he's here again. Every time we have to fight against this asshole, he's so annoying. So I got grabbed by this guy at the end, but this is not saving him. I'm going to destroy this guy. And yeah, I did it again. The third time, or second time, I don't know how many times you fight this asshole. But we see Kana and then we find out Cliff, he's, he's the guy who's doing that to Kana and everyone. This asshole, he's behind everything. So we killed Kana's father and he's yeah, lying on us. And he's grabbing something out of Ryu's body. It's the true dragon sword. And he throws it. Throws it to Kana. 
and now she's turning into a really really big thing and yeah we have to destroy her As you can see she's taking the true dragon sword and now she's going to her final form into a god and we get a trophy advent of the goddess for completing day 7 nice next up we see Genshin he's giving us the sword we have to get his power he's very important for us from the second game and next up we take the sword it's lightning oh shit it's let's go man but first we're on the boat we try to bring Kana back so this is the last mission, day 8, we jump out of the helicopter again, the third time or so, so we have to destroy this spider tank to get forward, and now day 8, Tokyo Japan, I can upgrade the last weapon to the maximum, and I did, and I get Falcon's Talents Expert, so we drove a car with Mizuki, but we got attacked so we had to jump out, Ryu as always catches the girl the girls he's catching every girl but the grip of Nora doing something to him he's very very hurt and we see Cliff again and he he turns into a monster into a yeah ugly thing with four arms so we had to destroy this guy again another boss he's shooting some projectiles and I'm using the 360 from the side very good move to destroy bosses so I did and here I'm cutting his head off and, um, what is happening? oh he shit man he's shooting a thing to us fuck man oh the dragon to this asshole with all the mask Theodore this is his name, he kills Cliff immediately because we know he's an asshole. I can see him again. So, die, just die, you asshole. And we see his sunglasses, his glasses on the ground. So, next up, we jump to this building here. And there's a wall. So, Fyodor, he can destroy this wall easily. So he's going to do it, so we can go further to Kana and destroy her, she's a god, she turned into a god, we have to kill her, but Fyodor he's, yeah, he's trying to kill us uh, because he is the father and he doesn't want to see Kana dying, and now we have to fight him again, shit man, yeah I don't want to show him too much we fight this guy enough this video so yeah just get it over die Theodore die and we got him finally no more Regan shit in this playthrough and this time he's he's trying to undo the grip of murder very nice but he failed I think so next up we get to Kana the last boss fight in the full playthrough the final boss fight we get two inferno limpo we can use it to destroy Kana and we need her he's destroying the whole thing with one sword swing and we can destroy her Getting some help away from her. Cutting her in half, but she. So we have to kill all the enemies until the limpo is fully full. So we can use it, and I did. So I used the limpo, and then she's slicing up with her sword, but we can block it, so we run on her and we slice her up on the half on her stomach and we slice it 
I'm going again on the head making some damage and now we have to fight her and we have to damage her arms right like this and she's shooting many projectiles which is very annoying and yeah we get her we got her and she's, she's destroying the other thing the other platform but then another slicing another swing with the sword on us and our sword breaks and now we get our sword back the true dragon sword and now we can destroy her so we use the stone to transform it into a true dragon sword and this is the final slide up destroy Kana and you we see her but we have to kill her so we did it nice we got her we slice her up in half completely in half and she's falling down so we catch her and this is the end of the game so we get some thanks from this guy we saw a few minutes in the game yeah very nice then we see Kana and Mizuki uh, together again and we see Ryu making his last step running towards a building some buildings jumping around like a true ninja shinobi and we get the trophy shinobi yeah very nice for playing through the game one time so next up I started another playthrough on hard for another trophy and I found some kills here Eclipse Dive Master 1000 kills with every weapon and I get these trophies Kusari Gamma Master nice and then I played for on hard and get the trophy mentor next up I went to chapter challenge we have a complete game with every character Ayana, Momiji and Kazumi and we also have to unlock every costume but we'll get that later first up I started my playthrough with Kazumi and I did some crystal skulls with her because my first playthrough I didn't and then I upgraded my weapon to the maximum got the trophy and then 1000 kills with her weapon got me another trophy and here the last boss fight we don't have to fight Kana in this playthrough with these characters makes no sense so yeah we get the next trophy with Momiji for upgrading her weapon to the maximum again the same game we have to get 1000 kills with her weapon we did we have to fight Fyodor again kill him and then bam 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 he's dead oh my god but we get no trophy next up Ayana we have to kill 1000 enemies with her weapon we did next up to the end boss we kill him and we get Kunoichi for completing the game with three characters and next up I got to day 8 in chapter challenge and destroyed the last uh, crystal skull to get the trophy out of the way finally clearing all test of values and give me the trophy please their crystal skull nice we did it finally and then I had to collect all the 50 scarabs I missed one in my first playthrough and I lost the clip again so I had to do a picture of it next up all the ninja trials I have to complete in the game there are some ninja trials so called and we have to complete 50 with Kazumi and 50 with Momiji to get their costumes but first I completed some with Ryu to get 3 trophies out of the way for completing 10 acolyte trials, 10 mental trials and 5 leader trials and I did this after that I started a new game on Master Ninja this is the hardest difficulty out of the two other games but in this game there's another difficulty we have to complete later so I did the uh, playthrough and I got Master Ninja and then I tried to get the costumes for Kazumi and Momiji to get the trophy you got skills for completing and getting every 
skill, every unlock you can get in the game. So I got to the last trial with Kazumi and to get the last costume and to complete this trial. It took me like two days to get 100 trials completed. Very boring and annoying but it had to be done and I got trophy, you got skills. Nice man and then I started my new playthrough on Ultimate Ninja, the hardest difficulty in the game. So we have to choose the perfect costume and I did this one. So next up, first day again. So you can see, yeah I can say this is very annoying. So I tried to use steel and bone as much as possible because they grab me all the time but I had to uh, I had to learn it. I don't know. It was very annoying the first day because we have no upgrades. We have to use the katana. So I skipped this whole fight. I didn't know it could be done but I did. I tried it and it worked. So I got to the boss. Just look at my health bar. It's it's completely broken. I have no life. I'm one hit all the time. So I died very often at this boss. But I had to do the same thing. I bought the Luna Star for 10k karma because I love this weapon in this game. You can destroy some things really fast, especially enemies. But then I switched to the katana to destroy the leg and I did it. Look at my health and won it. Very annoying but I got him done. He's dead finally. Yeah, and this opens the path, so we get to the next boss, the Regent. He's pretty, pretty annoying. He grabs you very, very often. So you have to wait until he finishes his attack, and then you can attack. So I did this with the Lunar Staff, which is really dumb, because you make no damage. But I did it anyway, so we got to the second phase, where he uses grabs more often. And he did and I died on this grab many times, like three to four times minimum. Yeah again he grabbed me like all the time. Oh, man. But I got him one hit, please. Yeah I got him finally man. After 50 tries. I don't know, uh, some some numbers like that. So I cleared day one on Ultimate Ninja, man. Very, very nice. So day two, next up in the desert. We got to the boss fight. And yeah, this pretty annoying chapter. Because there yeah, are some guys with jetpacks. And they are just shooting constantly with rockets on you. Which makes so much damage, you can see my health bar, I'm one again no health, because I have to spare, I have to do it to day 5 or so without using some health upgrades to make it easier at the end, and if I do that, I can get the whole end game a little bit easier, I can do it pretty easy, and I have these health upgrades. So I tried without the upgrade the first few days and I did it pretty well but it took many many deaths to get there and I destroyed the helicopter so we jump off and we clear the day clear day 2 nice next up we are in day 4 because I lost all the footage of day 3 I don't know why the clips are gone so I had to immediately jump to day 4 we fight against her, I use this scythe because it's OP on bosses so I can destroy her in a few seconds and I did so we had to escape we did again, nice, and we cleared day 4 on ultimate ninja, nice, and only a few days more to go next up day 5, wasn't that hard, have to say some enemies here these enemies are very annoying, they make combos like, I don't know, like some true ninjas. So we destroyed her, she was easy as well, she wasn't that hard, she's, 
is like a cinematic boss, not a hard boss. So we cleared day 5 on Ultimate Ninja. Next up, the clone. With the scythe, isn't that hard? We can spam 360s. And I did this to have a lot of health for the next boss, the Fian clone. This pretty insane boss. Very annoying, he's grabbing you and stuff like that. He's switching weapons. He has a katana, the falcon claws and the scythe as well. And he's using many many moves to destroy you. The Tuna Drop is one of them. But you can use Steel and Bone on him sometimes. And now we can finish him off. I did it, I think. Yes, I did it finally. Got him done and split him in half. Very nice, we cleared day 6 finally. After a few hours I can say. So we jump to Ayana, day, day 6 Ayana. She's pretty bad in every ninja in game you can play her. But in this she's okay. But yeah, a triple boss, very annoying. Just unpredictable moves of them, just annoying, die very often, but I tried my best and the results are, I can't finish this, come on. So they are always shooting some projectiles, I don't know why they are spamming that so often. And okay, I got one down, only one to go, please, he's won it. Yes, yes, yes. I have enough health. Yeah, yeah, easy, man. After a few hours, yeah. Pfft. And we did it. Day 6, Ayana, clear. Next up, we get to day 7. And we have to defeat two spider bots here. From Spider Man, I know. No. Yeah, we have to defeat them to get to the uh, other boss with the robot guy. And. They are pretty easy with the Scythe 360 because you make a lot of damage. So I used the Scythe to make it as easy as possible. And I did it. I got them. Then we turn to this guy. I don't know his name. I call him Robot. I used the 360 on him to make a lot of damage and stun him like that. So he falls uh, to the back and I can do more damage. And then I can destroy his arm. And look at the health bar, it's making no difference. <laughs> because the scythe makes so much damage. Yeah, he, he's trying to save himself, but he, he can't. I destroyed him. I destroyed him. I got him down. Nice. Next up, we have to fight the Regent again after this fight. But first up, we get to second phase. She's riding the robot, and yeah, I died very often on this move where he is uh, drifting like a freaking Lamborghini. As you can see, he's drifting there, and then I I couldn't escape. I I dodged, but I couldn't escape. He was too fast, and then you have to just stay in the middle, watch out, and then slide under him to destroy him. Destroy his weak points and then another time we're going to kill this guy. Like in the first playthrough, then destroy this asshole. So we killed him and we get to the next fight. The Regent, so I use the scythe. Because I hate this boss, I just hate him. And how many times you have to fight him is stupid as well. But we did it. Day 7 cleared, and then I got to Kana, back up the last fight, which is pretty insane, you have to build up the bar again, and the Nimpo uh, costs more key to use, and look at my health. Okay, I'm wounded right now, I'm trying my best, so look at my health, I, I use the Lunar Staff because you can break the arms and legs of the enemy so fast that you yeah, this is the fastest way possible to build up the key bar, the limpo bar, and I did it with one hit. If they hit it me once, I wouldn't be dead, but I didn't, and 
Yeah, we get to the final phase of this boss, Kana, we're going to destroy it. So, I use the side 360, and here I can use the health upgrade, the last health upgrade, upgrade I have, to make it easier. Because if she would have hit me once there, I would be dead. And look how many slices she missed. She's pretty insane, I can say. On this difficulty, this boss is very annoying. And we see the final cutscene after destroying Kana. Come on. Nice. The final scene. And we get the trophy. Ultimate Ninja finally. After three days of grinding this mode out. And next up we get to the Ninja Trails again. And we have to complete all Master Ninja Trails. Five of them. And I got to the last Master Ninja Trail 6. So the first wave is uh, constantly spamming rockets with some enemies on the ground here. I have to destroy some of the enemies. I don't know how many they are, but there are many many enemies. And the second wave we have to fight against Genshin, the normal one. And yeah, I used the Itsunga drop. So first up I waited for a flying swallow. But he made some moves that I don't want. So get away. So now I block and then I can use the uh, Ituna drop. And this makes a lot of damage, so it's makes it's making it a little bit easier. And here I destroy them, next up a few enemies again. And after that I have to fight against the fear and Genshin version. And he's pretty insane, so we have to do the 360 move to destroy him as fast as possible. I tr first tried to block and I got grabbed and he killed me but on Master Ninja Trials you have a retry on Ultimate Ninja Trials you don't so on the hardest trials you don't have a retry which is pretty annoying and insane but first time we have to complete this try and we see he's using a bomb on us this asshole he grabbed me but I got a lot of health I can do it but I got grabbed again from the stupid enemies. But I did it, I got the PM Genshin. And now we go to a pretty insane wave. We have to fight against two Dokus at first. And then a, f a third Doku is coming. He's, he will spawn when I kill one Doku. And look at this guy, he, he almost killed me, but I could escape with the bloody rage move which made a lot of damage, so I tried to do the easiest possible way the strategy, the easiest strategy to destroy these bosses I used the UTs with the scythe and when they attack I unleashed the UT to make a lot of damage and this was pretty helpful because I was wanted, as you can see all the time I, can, I can't heal myself and I can ninja gun 2 and 1 you can't heal yourself in this game only when using Limpo or using the key but yeah I got try done Overlord the trophy for completing 5 massive ninja trials next up we get to the ultimate ninja trials there are 10 in total I have to complete 3 and the first one I tried was the second one this in people's eyes is the easiest out of them all so I did this tried a few times and was pretty annoyed look at my health how how low the health bar is so I try to use so I look at my health bar now the final slashes we have to do is against Regent this asshole twice two Regents at the same time so I use the nimple to heal myself and yes yeah, you can see many health is yeah, I can speak because of this asshole man. He's... Oh my god, he grabbed me like... Yeah, I used the 360. But... He grabbed me anyway, so I died. And this is a 20 minute long trial, so... If you die at this boss, you lose 20 minutes. Or 50 minutes, like something like that. And I did this for hours, I tried to destroy it, and this should be the easiest. And I'm 
I'm struggling so hard, so yeah, this I didn't want to get to the other trails because I knew these would be the harder ones. So I killed all the Alchemists, but I did the trial finally. This is the easiest out of them all. Look, 18 minutes took me the trial. Next up, I tried the fourth ultimate trial which was pretty insane first up to fight against some reapers and boots and these claw mobs these are pretty insane mobs all of them they grab you many times they counter your attack like they block and then you can't attack anymore you have to dodge then you have fight against one regent and if you uh, get his health bar to health you have to have to have to fight against another one, another one will spawn. So two regans at the same time and then other black alchemists will spawn if you kill one of them. So as you can see there are two. And here I got stuck on the wall and grabbed by the regan son of a bitch. So I couldn't do anything. But later on I tried another one and this time I got to the last phase of this trial and here I killed yeah, two dopus and then another one will spawn that means three dopus, one alma, two regans, two gadgets and two clones in one trial and here as you can see I got grabbed and died yeah very very sad and annoying but the easiest strategy I died then I switched to another trial, ultimate 5, to... yeah, I couldn't do the other one because it takes over 30 minutes, I couldn't do this again, so I tried this trial with Luigi doing uh, wall jumps all the time to attack the bosses the easiest way, and I did it, I cleared the trial, so only one is left that I had to complete, and this is the third one, ultimate ninja trial 3, and here you have to fight against, I think, 12 bosses, 4 phases, every time you work 3 bosses, the first one with normal clones, then the second one with 2 clones and a fear clone, third one the same as the second phase, and then the last wave is with 3 fear clones, so I use the scythe. 360 move, but this is very insane, you have to master this move to even have a chance to kill all of them 12 bosses in a row with constantly spamming triangle and uh, with the stick always doing 360 is very annoying so I switched to the katana because I used the strategy like in the second try using only new teeth and this helped a lot as you can see, the katana makes a lot of damage with the UTs and I used this to get to the last phase but I died one time, so the second try I did I got to the last wave of three bosses and yeah, what can I say, I used the flying swallow to uh, dodge very important, because if you don't they hit you very fast Three of them are very annoying, so I used Flying Swallow two times to get to the other end of the map. Then I used the Nimpo right here to get some health back, very important. Look at my health, it's, it's pretty okay. So I got to the last enemy and here he is. Only one is very easy if you do this new T strategy and I killed him and this was the last trial so that means Ultimate and Master of the Secret Arts, finally the Platinum Trophy, nice man. So, this took me 141 hours to complete. Please subscribe and like.